everyone and welcome to California. So today we'll do a taste test of my first ever black Madeira. The first one was eaten or taken out and stolen by a creepy, I don't know, is it a rat or a um, squirrel? But my mouse trap snapped on one, on, uh, on this side. So I guess, um, but he wasn't trapped. I have here another one. <laughs> I have to protect them, but still, they've gotten away with my uh, first uh, fruit. So luckily, this one I found in in the in the pot, and it was uh, lying there. So we'll just go uh, in front of my yard and get some more fig trees and uh, rose apple. Okay, so here's another one. And look how big it is. Oh, wow. This is uh, a nameless one. <laughs> I don't know. Get my rose apple. There you have it. I think this is good enough. Okay. Oh my, it really smells rose. Here we are. Tasting for the first time my um, black Madeira fig tree fig fruit and unknown this is big and my rose apple yeah it really smells like rose uh, actually this is a, a family of um, wax jambu my uh, makopa here uh, or jambu apple so let's taste my unknown. Could this be a king uh, fig? Please comment below if you know the name of this uh, variety. Okay. Oh wow, it's perfect. I tasted one of my uh, long yellow long neck and another unnamed variety and my gosh they're so good mm, it's sweet I think this is like my Is this a yellow long neck? Tastes like one. My Turkish fig, the one that I got uh, a big one last year, they have this peculiar taste. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it um, uh, how do I explain that? <laughs> it's so hard to explain something that uh, you're not familiar with and you're lost out of, of words. But this is good. So please, if you know the name, the variety, Please uh, uh, comment down below, okay? So let's taste our Ta -da! black Madeira. This is not yet, I think it's not that ripe yet, but um, 
since um, I don't want to oh see that's what I mean let's try it They have a very distinct uh, uh, taste. I don't know what how to explain it, but wow, this really is a. Uh, and to think that it's not really that ripe. Oh wow, this is the winner. I hope I, I I don't know how to. Maybe I have to put the wire, <laughs> the chicken wire around the black madeira, just to to save the. These fruits are, are to die for. <laughs> if this is that delicious when it's not really. Um, fully ripe then what how would it taste when it it's it's really ripe thing from the fruit mm, 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 mm. so I would say from 10 I'll give this a 9 because uh, it's not uh, yet ripe Maybe if I tasted it this uh, on the uh, right time, I would give it 11. <laughs> but uh, okay, so let's now try our uh, rose apple. It really t uh, smells like apple. Rose, I mean. Yeah. I watched one video, I forgot her name, uh, Wendy Fan, Fan or something, and she said that was uh, after tasting the rose apple, it was her favorite uh, uh, fruit. That's why I had to look for uh, something, so, uh, some uh, trees. Here it is. It's like a what's the taste? The taste has a familiar um, similarities with the taste of a fruit in the Philippines, which I cannot uh, locate right now. Wait. It has a hinge of the lanzones, nothing like macopa, nothing at all. Uh, what is it? Is it, is it lanzones or? Oh, lychees. More of lychees. Mm-hmm, yeah. Doesn't taste anything like uh, the makopa or the wax jambu. It tastes more like light cheese, yes. Light cheese and lanzones, the combination of light cheese and lanzones. Uh. Or is it long gun? It's delicious. But I cannot say it would be my favorite uh, fruit. Hmm. 
between this and the makopa mm, I would still prefer the makopa Madeira so for you fig lovers out there this is for you it's good So there you have it. <laughs> oh wow, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so thank you guys and God bless everyone.